Hey guys, so I just got um, my Dolce Vita kit, which you know, I'm a sucker for some sweets. So look, I'll show you what I've got. See all that? All right, so I thought um, it'd be fun if I just tried some things. So let's see, I'm gonna set you guys down right there in the box and I'm gonna just try some of these things. All right, so we're gonna start with this jam. So this um, company, um, Agni Montana makes awesome jam. They've been making jams for a really long time in the Piedmont area. And the thing about jam is that if you open it and it really smells like whatever the fruit is, in this case, it's strawberry, you know you're in for a real treat. So, there we go. See how thick it is? You can see, can you guys see how thick it is? See how thick that is? That's why I like my jams. Mmm. It's like a thick puree of sweet, like think of um, strawberries when they're in the peak of their season in the summer and you puree them. It's just fabulous. Mm. Okay, jam. Then we've got another one, uh, another jar I gotta open. Oh, this one was much easier. Yeah, this is, look at this, lavender honey. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So what I like to do with this is I like to put it on toast, but you could also, believe it or not, I sometimes use it in coffee in the morning to sweeten my coffee, but look how thick that is. You can see that. See that? Isn't that amazing? You could drizzle this over fruit. You can use it to make cake. We have, um, I have this lavender honey cake on Jodzi that I make with this honey. I honestly could sit here and eat this all day. You could use it in cocktails. And there's so many things you could do. And it has a nice um, floral lavender flavor to it. Not too overpowering at all. Mm, nice and thick. Mm. I love some good honey. Okay, then, Amaritti cookies. I just love this tin. I store all sorts of things in here. Um, I put like um, safety pins in it and clips and all sorts of fun things. The paper's always fun too. How pretty this paper is. I put these out. These are great for um, afternoon tea. They can, um, you can make uh, ravioli and then you can top it with this. I love that little crunch, that little sweetness. These are straight from my childhood. Crunchy, sweet. I have a nice almond flavor to them. They're perfect dipped in tea or in coffee. This reminds me of my childhood. We had these all the time. Yummy. Okay. Then, chocolate. Guida Gubino. Okay, so he is sort of like the chocolate here extraordinaire from Torino. Um, and I was introduced to him years ago when I went there, uh, when I went to Torino for the Olympics. And his hot chocolate is to die for, but you really gotta love hot chocolate because it's really thick. So you get these little chocolates. And you know what I should show you guys? What I like these chocolates too is uh, not only just to eat them, but also <laughs> to put them in my coffee and then put hot espresso on top of it and melt it. It's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. So you can see that, see? Oh my gosh, these are delicious. He makes great, great chocolate, high quality chocolate. Hazelnut, so chocolate on the outside and in the middle, it's a um, chocolate hazelnut um, spread and they're all nice and hard together. So think of it like the Italian version of like um, Reese's peanut butter cup. Instead of peanut butter inside, it's hazelnut. Heaven, just heaven. Last but not least, Torone. This is a classic, classic Italian dessert. You will see this on Christmas tables. You'll see it on Easter. I mean, you'll see it at any classic Italian um, home on part of their dessert tray. Whatever it is, even if it's a, just a regular dinner, a lot of times you'll see dried fruit and this. Okay, so this one you kind of need a knife for, so I'm just gonna kind of, it's hard as you can see. So I'm just gonna have to bite it. 
chocolate hazelnut inside. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me take another bite. Okay. You can see the nuts inside. Okay, I've had so much chocolate, I gotta say. My favorite way to spend an afternoon. Mm. Best kit ever.